Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to talk about something a little bit slower. Let's slow down the pace here a little bit. Um, since uh, the globalists have forced us into a kind of, uh, well, at least in Melbourne here, we're forced into a six-week lockdown. Let's talk about some of the positive aspects of slowing our lives down. Uh, this is a report from Tiger Mountain. <music> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about um, some of the more quieter aspects of what's going on at the moment with the COVID crisis. In Melbourne, Australia, we're forced into a kind of lockdown uh, where we're not allowed to um, go more than five kilometres from our house. We can go out once uh, a day for an hour to exercise. But, um, you know, that's basically the laws we've been given. Um, so, I mean, you know, what are we doing in this time? I think it's... A, uh, a great time um, to slow our lives down, to um, be more reflective, to to read a lot more, and to um, really think about what's going on. And to you know, I mean, this is a great time to do some writing. This is a great time to you know start writing a novel or um, finish a film script or um, um, write out a number of um, ideas for films you might be doing. I'm a filmmaker myself, so that's what I'm doing. Um, reading a lot more. Um, um, getting stuck into some of the various box sets, uh, movies and things. So I've been watching a lot of Hammer. This is something I've been getting into. Hammer films, which are absolutely brilliant, by the way. I have to recommend them to you all. So, you know, this is a time. This is an opportunity. I mean, you know, I mean, we're kind of forced into this situation. So, you know, we're being given lemons. And I'm a firm believer when you're given lemons, make lemonade. So um, now is the time to really, um, you know, plot different things. It's also a great time to think about politics and to think about a way out of this situation and to think about where our societies and civilizations are going to go after all this crisis. So I just wanted to say that, you know, this t this may be tough times, um, you know, but we're not being airily bombed um, and, you know, and we're not, you know, living in a high-rise condo um, uh, um, near um, a Lebanese port. So we haven't been, uh, you know, had our homes blown up quite yet by the globalists. So, um, uh, you know, things are, are, you know, are good, but they aren't absolutely terrible. And we can use this time uh, for quiet reflection and to um, really think about things and to, you know, be kind to people and uh, you know, reach out to friends and chat to them online, get on Facebook and, you know, have a few chats, have a few arguments about politics. So it's a good time. Now someone's knocking at my door. They're probably coming to take me away. <laughs> Excuse that interruption um, to my kind of uh, rant about contemplation, but uh, it was just a package from Amazon. So that's another thing. You can order a few things from Amazon. And um, so the, it's, this is the time that we can use. That's what I wanted to say. And it's actually a time to be hopeful. It's a time to be spiritual, to read books on Christianity and spirituality in general. Um, get in contact with God again. You know what I mean? There's so many interesting things um, that one can do in this quieter time. Uh, it's a time for... Um, um, in a contemplation, and it's a time for uh, contemplation of the eternal issues. So that's what I wanted to say, and uh, I wanted to encourage that kind of thing during this time of crisis in Melbourne and uh, Australia and worldwide in this um, time of uh, 2020, this time of great um, world crisis and um, combobulation, if that's a word, I think it is. Um, so thank you for listening, and uh, that's all I wanted to say today. And uh, namaste.